Hi, glad you could join me today. You ready to do a fantastic painting together? Well, let's get started. Let's have them graphically run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with me. While they're doing that, let's go on up here. We've got the canvas set up. We have it covered with a thin, even coat of liquid white, and it's all ready, so let's get started. Start out today with a two-inch brush. Go right into a little tiny, tiny bit of the phthalo blue, and we'll reach over here and we'll grab a little bit of the midnight black. And then I'm gonna go down here and the least little touch of yellow ochre. So we have blue, black, little yellow ochre. Let's go right up to the canvas here. And let's put us in a happy little sky today. Just using little crisscross strokes, let it just sort of float across the canvas. Just make all those happy little things. And maybe skip a space, and then we'll come down here. We'll have a cloud or two in there. Just sort of skip a space. And go right on like it. Okay, while well we have that brush going, put a little water. Today we're going to do the little animated opening. That's the little painting that you see go blip, blip, blip at the beginning of the show. So I'll show you how that one was done. All right, there's a little water in it, so we want a little touch of water right here. Now this may not be an exact duplicate of the opening, but it'll show you how it was made. They give me quite a bit of time to paint that, and then some fantastic people animate it. They do that one frame at a time, so it just sort of comes alive. There we go. Okay, and that'll be our water right in there. Alrighty, I'll wash the brush, give it a good scrub, shake it off, <laughs> beat the devil out of it, cover everybody in the studio here. I'm gonna go right into, right into, Titanium white. Pull that brush through the paint. Get a lot of paint on it. Let's make a happy little cloud up in the sky. Let's go right up here. And we'll just work in a little cloud. I don't want a big bright cloud. Just want a tiny little cloud. Floats right around here and has some fun. Just sort of work him in. This is just straight titanium white. Little circles. See there? And we'll have another little cloud lives right here. Clouds just sort of float around and have fun, so they're free. They're really free. There we are. That quick. That quick. We have a happy little cloud in the sky. Now with a clean brush, and I have several of each brush going, so I don't have to spend a lot of time washing all of them. Just blend it out a little. Just little circles, give it a fluff. And if you remember that little painting at the beginning of each show, there's not a whole bunch of sky that's gonna be left showing, so we don't have to worry a great deal about it today. Knock off the excess paint there, blend it out, and we're ready to go. That quick, we have a happy little sky. Now then, make some little background trees. For that, I will take a little touch of Prussian blue, midnight black. Shoot, we'll throw a little brown in there too. A little touch of the yellow ochre. Just a small amount of the ochre, it'll turn green on you. And let's pull a little bit out into that. I'm gonna add titanium white. There we go. Well, maybe a little more white, just like so. That's good color, okay. Clean off my knife here. Today, let's use the old fan brush. We'll load it full of paint, a lot of paint, both sides. Just go right up here. And we had some little background evergreens. Just start off, take the brush, and just sort of work back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. See? Put in the centers. You can put in as many or as few as you want. And then come back. That easy. And turn all those little, little sticks into Happy little evergreens. And these are far away, so you're not looking for a lot of detail back here. Not looking for a great deal. There. And, oh, there's another one. There's another one. Now you could make these with a one inch brush. Works very well, two inch brush. There. Same, same way. Just Load the brush to a chisel edge and take off. There we go. 
Let's have one more right there. What the heck? They're so much fun, you sort of get carried away with them. But that easy. That easy. You can make a whole little forest. Now we can tap that. Just tap it. Give it a little upward lift. It'll create the illusion of mist and fog and all kinds of pretty little things. Take the same color. I'm gonna add a little touch of the little touch of the Van Dyke brown to it. Tiniest little amount. Tap the brush into it. Let's go right up here. There. And we'll make a little, a little bit of land that comes right down through there. And this helps sort of push everything back. It creates another plane in your painting. It creates that illusion of depth that we talk about all the time. It's very important in painting. Now, while we have this on the brush, grab it. Just pop it straight down. Just give it a snap. Blip. See there? Some over here. Then very lightly, very lightly, go across. And we have instant reflections. That easy. Now then, let me take a little liquid white, pull that out, cut across it. And let's go right up here and we'll just cut us in. I'm using a very firm pressure here. We'll just cut in some happy little water lines. That easy. There we go, another one right in here, wherever you want them to go. Now maybe, see look here, we know there's going to be a tree there, so you can put one there and it'll look like there's something happening there, but you don't have to waste a lot of time. You'll understand a little better when we go further. It'll make sense. I'm not, I'm not totally crazy. <laughs> Sometimes I doubt that. There we go. Now then, we can begin building onto this. So let's take Take a two inch brush. I'm gonna go right into some Van Dyke Brown, a little dark sienna. Just sort of work them together. Maybe even pick up a little black, what the heck. Whatever makes you happy. We're looking just basically for a dark color, okay? Now right up in here, we had a bush or a tree. It starts out as a bush and if it gets big enough, then we call it tree. And trees will cover up a multitude of sins. They're your friends. Brings that whole corner together. That easy. A little more of the color. See, now that projects out and it makes it look like it goes back around. That easy. Sneaky, huh? While we have this on the brush, once again, let's just tap it downward. And we can create, we can create a happy little reflection. That easy. That easy. I used to be a traditional painter, and I would work as hard making these reflections as you can believe. I had worked myself to death trying to make them. Shoot. Reflections are one of the nicest things that happens. I'm going back into that good old dark color. Let's come right in here, and let's have a little thing. It comes out, see it, right there. Right there. Just drop it right in. Shoot, while we have a little brush going, let's just keep going here. Let's just keep it going. There was a big, strong tree that lives here. Mm. Now, sometimes you can get carried away and just cover up the whole canvas, and that's all right, as long as you practice. Because if there's a secret to painting, it certainly is practice. That's the only secret there is, because we show you everything you need to know here to do fantastic paintings. All you need to do is take what we give you practice a little bit, and just do all kinds of unbelievable things. Straight down, across, and that quick, we have happy little reflection there. Now then, I want to take, here's my other brush. This was the same old color we made these trees out of. Let's just come back in here, behind here, in case some of this shows through. And we'll make the indication of distant, distant trees. These are far, far away. A couple of those may show through. A couple of them may not. We may just cover them up. Who knows? We'll take some brown. Now, let's come right in here and we can just, shoot, we can just paint this on just like we was painting the barn. Just la 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 la, la. paint it off. This is gonna be our path. Remember, there's a little path in there. Just like so. And we had all kinds of happy little things growing along the path. 
And all we're doing here is just blocking in color. We're just blocking it in. We'll come back and we'll put all the little, the little highlights and the little, the little sparklers in there. Another little tree lives right there. See there? That quick, you can block in an entire painting. And all we're doing is just putting in the dark. You gotta have the dark so the light will show. Look at there. All right. Maybe, 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 maybe right down in here. I want that to be a little good and dark. There's a lot of shadows under there. A lot of shadows. Okay. Shoot, we're moving right along here. I told you this was a fun little painting. I like this painting. Take the liner brush with thinner on it. Go right into our Van Dyke Brown. You want this paint to be thin, thin like ink. Pull it out, turning it, bring it to a nice point. Okay? Now then, let's go right in here and just put the indication here and there of a happy little tree trunk. And a limb or two here and there, like so. There we go. There, one there, wherever, wherever, wherever. Tell you what, maybe, I think there was, yeah, there was a big tree, lived right there, and we just pulled that right straight down. Then let's put a few little limbs on it, like that. See there, see how easy those little limbs are? And you put as many or as few as you want in there. This is your tree. So you have to make the big decision. Are there a few limbs, a lot of limbs, no limbs, whatever. Any way you want it, you can do it. You can do it. Just like so. And you could even, even in here, see. Most of these will be covered up, but maybe a couple of them will show through. And it'll look like you have all kinds of little details in your painting. Now when I'm doing these, sometimes I pull down, sometimes I pull upward, just whichever way feels right and whichever way works for you. That's the way to do it. That's the way. There's one. See all these little sticks and those? But let them get smaller as they go back and it creates. Already you're beginning to see distance in this painting. Already. Just by putting those few little sticks and twigs, it looks like you could go back in there. And we've only piddled around here for just a second. Okay, wash the old liner brush off. And let's begin playing here. Okay, grab the old two inch brush. Let's go into some yellow and some yellow ochre. Reach over here and I'll grab a touch of the, touch of the bright red. And load the brush full of paint. Just tap it. Tap it, tap it. Okay, let's go right back up here. Let's begin putting some beautiful fall colors on some of these trees, see? All you do is just use the corner of the brush and make little clumps, little, little patterns here. Don't just hit it random and sort of think about what you're doing and look at it. See the little clumps? That's what separates the tree. It gives it individuality. Practice that a little bit, because that's what'll make your tree stand out and really make it spectacular. Down here, we have all kinds of little bushes, just all kinds of them. Shoot, here's a nice one. And you do layer after layer after layer. Do one bush at a time. Don't get in a big hurry and try to do them all at once. There you go. I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it. Now, once in a while, dip your brush into a little bit of paint thinner. That'll thin your paint down and make it stick easier if you want to break. Like here, put some very bright highlights. Make that little bush stand out. Just dip it a little thinner so it sticks nice and easy. And wherever you have to make those big decisions. And then maybe over here, there's some more. See all those little things? That's the way they go. 
maybe back in here. Now I want these to be very loose because I don't want to lose all those. See all those little sticks create distance. I don't want to lose those. These are very loose. They're just little things just sort of floating around back here. We don't even see exactly what they're connected to. Aren't those pretty? And you can do all of this with just a big old two inch brush. You can also do it with a one inch brush or the round brush. Just wanted to show you today what you could do with a big brush. Ooh, there's a nice sparkler. That's a pretty son of a gun. Look at that. See, and work forward, 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 forward. Always coming forward. Always working forward. Layer after layer, bush after bush. And that's how you create the distance in your painting. I know you're tired of hearing me say that, but that's, to me, is what, what makes good paintings. Paintings that have distance and depth. And I look for that in paintings. There we go. There. See that? Look how much distance is showing there. Just because we layered it and went back, back, back. Okay, let's put some dirt in there. We need something for all that to set on. Don't want it to fall in the water and make a big splash. Just plain old Van Dyke brown here. Look at that. Just sort of bounce it along. Let the canvas pull off what it wants. It'll give you back what's left. Wherever you want it to be. See there. You can do it. Now we'll take some white, a little dark sienna, a little touch of blue, and just mix it a little bit. Don't over mix it. Just, just enough so that it's sort of marbly. And then you can go up here and just sort of let this bounce along and play and create all kinds of little things. Looks like little stones and hills and bumps and... Okay, just wherever, wherever. And maybe where you live, maybe stones and rocks and dirt is a different color than that. So you change the colors to match what you want. All we want to do here is show you how. What you do is up to you. Because painting is, oh, it's, it's an individual thing. And it should make you happy. It should set you free. And I think, if you're like me, we're all looking for freedom. We're looking for an escape, someplace, someplace that's nice. There's no pollution. Nobody's mad. It's a happy place. It's a happy place. And that's what you create on your canvas, is a happy place. Talk too much. Fan brush. Get a little sap green to throw in there. Yellows. Just whatever happened down here. Load that brush full. Let's go up here. Now then, let's follow right down. Look at there. Just push upward. See, use the corner of the brush. If you use the whole brush, you're going to get smiley faces. If you start getting smiley faces, turn your brush more to the corner. More to the corner. Okay, over here. Put in a few little things. I'll tell you what, let's put some dirt over here. This side's getting left out. There it comes. There it comes. See there? And maybe some of it sneaks right on back up in there. Some highlights. Dark sienna. White. A little touch of blue here and there. Very little blue, though. Just want to gray it. The blue is just just to gray it. Just to gray it. A little liquid white. Come right in here. See there? Put a little water line under there. Shoot, you can do it that quick. Then we come right in with our fan brush and bring all this together. Isn't that neat? Okay. bushes hanging over. Maybe there's a couple of the little things that live right here and just sort of hang over. Wherever you want them. Wherever you want them. Okay, tell you what let's do. <laughs> let's play with the path. Now, I want to make it look like there's a little bit of light that's just zinging through here and hitting right back here. So I'm going to use almost pure white because it'll mix with the brown. 
it'll mix with the brown. And then it'll get darker, darker, darker as it comes around. I want to add a little touch of dark sienna in there. Start blending that all together. Maybe a little light zinging through there. That's one of them happy accidents. There. See, just bring it right on out like that. Now then. Now then, let me take and wash my fan brush here. Dry it off on a paper towel. Now very lightly, I just want to barely touch. Just caress the canvas. I want to just bring all this together. Now this is a thick paint, so you can do this and get away with it. See? See how smooth that brings it all in? Without destroying. You don't lose all these things. You just blend them in and soften. Okay, now then we can go back. Let's bring all kinds of little happy bushes that hang right over the path. And that'll push the path right down into the painting so it fits. See there? And now, now you feel like it belongs there. There we go. And you can put as many or as few, or whatever. Shoot, when I got this brush going, I'm gonna add a little, little red so that'll make an orangey color. And back up in here, just barely touching. Just wanna put the indication of all kinds of little, little things happening back up in this big tree. There they go. See them? Just little indications. We're not looking for a lot of detail here. Most of this also will be covered up because we're going to put some big, fantastic trees in there. Big old trees. I'm going back into some dark paint. This is the blue and the black. Little tiny bit of sap green on the fan brush. In the opening, we had a little evergreen that lived right here. I believe right about it there. So we just drop him right in. Maybe he lives right in front of that tree. Like that. And put a little tree trunk on him. And we can put a few little grassy things in front of him. That'll push it back into the painting. Okay. Let's do some. Let's do some big trees. Shoot, that time to really get crazy in here. Van Dyke Brown on the fan brush, a lot of paint. Let's go right up here. Okay. Zzzz. Now if you don't make that noise, it won't work. There's one tree there, one tree there. And you can put as many or as few as you want. Here's a big son of a gun. Big old tree, big old tree and we'll give him a friend. Great big tree. And right over here, one more tree. Now, let's take some titanium white and just grab this, pull it right around. See here? There we go. Just put some bark on that tree. Just bark on it. That's what my dog says, bark, bark. Some on that one. Just give it a pull here. Well, some on this tree here. Up we go. Some on the other side. Like that. Now you can just work that together. There. Now, back to our liner brush. Back to our liner brush. We'll go right into Van Dyke Brown. And let's put a few little limbs on these trees. Here we go. You want this paint to be very, very thin. Almost like water. You want it so thin that it just flows. See? And drop in however many limbs you want. Just drop them in. You know, I'd like to Thank all the people who have wrote and sent us cards and letters. And we, get, we get hundreds of ideas from people all over the country. They send us photographs or, or postcards or stuff they'd like to see painted. And that's where a lot of the ideas for these paintings come from. It's from people all over. 
and I use those ideas. I'd like to hear what it is that you want painted. Let us know. If you don't tell us, we have to guess. There. See there? When the paint's thin, you can just put as many of these in as you want. Just drop them in. There. And we don't want this little tree to be left out. Give him a few little limbs out here. Now, these sort of look like birch trees. And if in your painting you want them to be oaks or whatever, maybe you wanted maples in your tree, so it looks like your area, do that. Put them in. It's your world and you really can do anything. I'm going to take a little white and put in a few little, little doers right here. Look like little sticks and twigs. Just put them in. See? That easy. You can put in all kinds of them. Now then. Knock a little bit of paint off my big brush. I'm gonna go right in. Let me get a little little paint thinner on my brush so the paint's thin. Cat yellow. Just tap my big brush. And let's go in here and drop in some beautiful, beautiful little leaves that are just on these trees here. And just use the very corner of the brush. Put in as many as you want. Here's some over here. Let them float around wherever you think they should be. And the old clock on the wall is telling me I better stop for today. So I'll just drop in a few more leaves. Tell you how much I enjoyed painting this for you today. And I look forward to seeing you again. And from all of us here, happy painting. God bless.